What's going on my fellow graphic designers? Welcome back to another Photopea video. In this video, I'll be telling you guys some really awesome features that Photopea has to offer. And I made a video like this before, but these are some more features that I did mention in that video. So without further ado, let's get started. The first one is a really awesome feature. You can actually full screen your Photopea by going up here to the square and clicking on it. And you can click on it again to disable it, but it makes working way easier because you can see everything a lot better. You don't have to see your taskbar and your other tabs. It's just like Photoshop, you can full screen it and I really love that. So I'm not sure if this is new, but I'm pretty sure it is. I haven't seen it, but I tend to look over things. So maybe I just looked over this, but it's a really cool feature nonetheless. The next one is you can actually search for tools and other things like filters. So it really speeds up your designing. So let's say you don't know where the blur tool is or the brush tool, you could just search it here. So let's type in brush, you can see all the brush options. It's not even just tools, you got other things like filters and other things like that. It makes designing way faster and I love it. I'm gonna definitely use this more, I just found out about this. Definitely try that if you haven't already. The next one is you can actually save your project as a link. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, but I'm not sure if all you guys know how to do it. If you don't, go up to file, publish online and PSD, go ahead and click on that, click OK. And what it's going to do is process it into another tab that has a link up here that you can copy it and send it to other people and they'll be able to access your project. So just copy that, you could send it to anyone or, you know, save it in a text document on your desktop and just open it later. It's definitely a lot easier than sending a PSD to somebody. This next one's really cool. Once you're at photopea.com, click on PSD templates and you can see a bunch of templates that people have uploaded. I uploaded a bunch of them. So you'll see a lot of mine from my videos on here. You can even upload your own. And when you click on it, you can click on this link and you can edit the text, download it, whatever as a template. And even down here, you could see some comments people have said about it. So the creator of Photopea, shout out to him. Yeah, I think it's really cool. He's been adding some things to it from what I've seen. So I would definitely check this out if you want some quick designs. Another really awesome one is you can actually expand these windows. So if you click on these little arrows, you can expand it, make it smaller by just clicking on it. Or you can even drag this one to make it smaller or bigger. I would personally have it like maybe right here because you got a lot of workspace over here, but you could still read all the layers pretty easily. So that's definitely a really cool one. This one is more common and I'm sure a lot more people know about this. You can actually lock your layers over here by clicking on the layer and then clicking this lock. This will keep you from moving around that layer. Like say there's a layer on top that you keep grabbing on accident. If you lock it, you won't have to worry about that. And I highly recommend this when you have a ton of layers because it gets really annoying when you start grabbing something and it grabs something else that you don't want. So yeah, I would definitely try that one out. It's a really cool feature. The next one is really nice for people that encounter bugs. You can go up to report a bug up here and you're brought to like a forum with people having other issues. Maybe you could find the issue similar to yours and find a solution because the creator responds to these. So you can see there's a lot of issues people are having and you can also open your own tickets or issues or whatever here and get some answers. So I would definitely recommend this if you have any bugs. It also helps make Photopea a better website because he can fix these bugs and make it better. This next one is really good if you're new to Photopea. If you go up here to learn, you can find a bunch of different topics on Photopea that could probably help you become a better designer if you're just starting out. There's an introduction and just a bunch of things that'll help you get started. It explains a lot of things in detail, so I would highly recommend this if you want to know what some things do in more detail. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. I make a lot of other content like this, so you will not be disappointed if you stick around. And that's all I got for you guys today, so I'll see you in the next one. Peace.